Once again, we'd like to welcome you to today's edition of The Morning Call. Two emergency summits will be held in Egypt this Tuesday to discuss the political and security situations in Sudan and Libya. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, African Union chairperson, will lead his counterparts, Chad's Idris Deby, Rwanda's Paul Kagame, Congo's Denis Sungeso, Somalia's Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed, South Africa's Cyril Ramaphosa, as well as Djibouti's Ismail Omar Gele, to discuss the current events in these two countries. The meetings will seek to stem the current crisis in Libya, where Commander Khalifa Haftar is leading an offensive on Tripoli. They will also focus on the, on the evolution of the situation in Sudan, where the army has ordered protesters to end their sit-in. In Sudan, the army, pressed by the protest movement that brought down Omar al-Bashir, is demanding the removal of roadblocks around the Defense Ministry headquarters. The military said it needed the roads open to ensure the movement of logistics and supplies. But demonstrators refused to heed. They continue to call for the dissolution of the Transitional Military Council and the immediate transfer of power to civilians. Early on Sunday evening, the head of the council, General Abdel Fattah al burhan increased the pressure on protesters by condemning what he called roadblocks and surges of people without authority. Protesters continued to impose their arms to prevent security forces from dispersing the sit-in outside the Ministry of Defense in central Khartoum. Je rappelle donc que ces so deux these two emergency summits will bring together the presidents of South Africa, Chad, the DRC, Rwanda, Djibouti and Somalia, as well as senior Ethiopian and southern Sudanese officials and the chairman of the AU Commission. So there will be a lot of people in Cairo from today and to discuss these emergency summits in detail, we have contacted Hisham Ben Yaish, editor-in-chief of the New African magazine. Monsieur Ben Yaish, bonjour. Good morning, Yaish. Uh, Egyptian Head of State Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, current chairman of the African Union, is holding two summits this Tuesday with some of the continent's counterparts as the crises in Sudan and Libya. How do you read these uh, initiatives? The question of these African Union meetings are key issues because for a pan-African organization, the crises in Africa are of primary interest to the contents, continent's stability. rather. So the meeting that will be chaired by the Egyptian president, who holds the rotating presidency of the AU, is a way of assessing the situation in Sudan and Libya and taking stock of the situation so that we can see the state of threat and the risk of destabilization in the region. And Hisham, the purpose of these meetings is to identify possible solutions to restore peace in Sudan and Libya. Would AU sanctions be welcome in this case? Clearly, there are means of coercion in the hands of the African Union and the international community more generally. So, in reality, it is a way to push those in power today, the military as well, and to find a way to look back on what is called the constitutional order. And that is why the African Union will use these means today to push the military, who now have power in Sudan, and to drop the ball and enter this much-desired constitutional order. So the interests of both have often been obstacles to decision-making within the AU. Are these not the two summits that may come up against this reality? It is normal for the African Union 
and it is the interest of states that control this institution. Even if the positions are minimal, it shows that there is a willingness by the institution's leaders to have a political point of view on the crises taking place on the continent. So Egypt takes its institution as a sounding board to make its mark and above all to show that Egypt could also be an actor an intermediation.